deadly H1N1 virus, swine flu, has taken down its first victim in the Delhi NCR region. This is a 51-year-old woman from Ghaziabad. But is there time to panic just yet? Are we going to see a repeat of what happened in 2010? Uh, talking to me will be an expert on this, Dr. Jain. Uh, so very crucial and, you know, points. The first death has created, you know, kind of press the alert button yet again. But for anybody with the severe winter coming in, what are the basic precautions that people can take? I think uh, people who whose immunity is lower or who have severe lung disease because of any other cause should protect themselves from the cold. So they should not be stepping out early morning, late evening. Try and avoid coming in contact with people who have a cough, cold or fever. Hmm. Uh, and then, even if they develop symptoms, they should seek help early. Hmm. So these are people whose immunity is compromised. Mm. People who are normal, healthy, should take normal hygiene and barrier precautions. So mm. if, you, if you develop a flu, for example, mm. make sure you're not coughing in anyone, anyone's face, mm. make sure you're using a tissue, make sure you're disposing of that tissue properly, mm. and you are remaining at least a certain distance away from other people most of the time right. so that you don't But how do you people. get to know that this flu is going to be swine flu? I have flu right now. I've been coughing. How do I know this is not swine flu? No. I, one, I think we need to be very clear. Every flu is not swine flu. But it could be. It could be. And most cases of swine flu would be mild if people take rest, take, they take care, and they are otherwise healthy. Hmm. So they would recover on their own even without treatment. Hmm. So there is no need for panic as yet. I, I do think that we do need to keep a close watch. So all hospitals should be reporting cases that come positive early. Hmm. And then the trends need to be watched. So if the trend shows that this is picking up at an alarming rate, then we need to take measures like we had to do earlier, four years yeah. ago. You're saying uh, trends need to be watched out for, but what are the severe symptoms perhaps which can indicate to a person that he just might have the deadly virus? Yeah, so any person who's had a flu-like illness, who starts developing severe breathlessness or whose BP starts falling, showing that the virus may be causing severe disease, those people need to seek help early. Hmm. And they do need to go to a a recognized designated center which is equipped to deal with them. Hmm. Even if they need hospital admission, there should hmm. be facilities and the treatment facilities are adequate. Hmm. If that happens, people will stop wasting time running from one small hospital to a bigger hospital to a third hospital. What and happened what in the case lost. of the woman who lost her life? Uh, so very uh, quickly, again, I want to understand, much has been talked about the Tamiflu pill. But we, we do know that there is no treatment. So how efficient is this and how often should one be popping one? Let me just put things in perspective. Hmm. Any death with swine flu cannot actually be blamed on delayed treatment or negligence. Hmm. Some people will die because of severe disease in spite of treatment. So yes, Tamiflu is the only drug that we have available. And if in severe disease it is started early, then yes, the results are good and people do make a recovery. And we've seen that earlier this year also. So. But no reason to panic just yet. This is not going to be a repeat of 2010. Not as yet, but I think people just need to be a little more watchful and aware and take precautions. I think mm. precautions are the most important thing mm. so far. So no need to panic just yet, but do take the important precautions mm. and also watch out for the guidelines coming out from the government this time around to ensure that you do not catch the deadly virus. In New Delhi with camera persons on Joy Das, Sonal Mehrotra, NDTV.